Hey, my name is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to make a quick video tutorial today to show you guys how you can edit some of your item specifics using the bulk action tool on eBay. eBay have recently updated all the item specifics again. They have done this multiple times to us over the years and I think as resellers we all know they want to get into the Google reach and make it better for SEO. However, I think as resellers we're all feeling a little bit frustrated at the way that eBay has gone about this, the way that they are updating and making changes which are affecting the listings that we've already prior done and it's really making an impact on our time and when you have hundreds or thousands of items in your store like me, <laughs> thousands, it's actually very time consuming to update the item specifics on our listings. But if you didn't know, there is actually a bulk listing tool which helps to make it a little bit faster. So the first thing that you need to do is click onto your active listings. And once you're in your active listings, click down to edit and go to as many listings as it will let you edit at one time. Mine says one to 2000, yours might actually only say one to 200. So I'm gonna click one to 2000. Now when it's ready, click over here up into the little box so that you highlight all 2000 of those listings and then go up here to the edit fields. When you're in the edit fields, scroll down until you get to item specifics. Now once you're in item specifics, you've got the choice to edit the listings individually or edit the listings in bulk. So let's choose bulk. Now, once we're in bulk, it's going to give us a list of the categories that are included in those 2000 listings. So you can see here that I've got two in this category, one in this category, three here, blah, blah, blah. But I've got 977 in the category of books, comics, magazines and books. So I'm going to click that one because that is the main one I want to fix. Now, this is going to show me all the item specifics that are listed for this book category. And the ones here that have got the little red stars, well, that means they're a required item specific. The ones without the red stars are recommended, but not required. So first of all, I'm going to go here and have a look at any that I might be able to update in bulk. Now, obviously, I don't want to update the author in bulk because nearly every single book has a different author. So that's one thing I don't want to change in bulk. Along with the book title here, I also don't want to change that in bulk. Now, the language, I can change that in bulk because I know that every single one of my books that I sell is currently in English language. So I'm going to change that to English. So I've got the format, the genre, the intended audience, the narrative type. Now the publication year is one that I can definitely change in bulk because I don't know the publication year of all three and a half thousand books that I've got listed. So I'm going to change that so that it says unknown. Where are we at the bottom? Now the publisher is another one. I think some of my books may have the publisher in there, but for the majority of them, I'm not going to have the publisher listed in my item specifics. Now, because this is a required one, it means that every single listing needs the publisher. And I know that not every single listing of mine has the publisher. So I'm actually going to change that. So it says unknown. I'm just going to copy and paste that. Now I'm going to leave the topic and I'm going to leave the type and then I'm going to go down to some of these ones that aren't required but they're still recommended and I'm going to try and get rid of some of them. Now the country, region of manufacture, I'm going to change all of those to unknown. Now the illustrator, I do not know the illustrator of every single book so I am definitely going to be putting unknown for that one. Now the item height, the length, the weight and the width, I have not measured every single book that I've got listed in the past, so I will be changing these all to unknown. Maybe in the future as I go forward with new books, this might be something that I feel I need to add, which I'm not sure I do, <laughs> but at the moment for the three and a half thousand that I've got here listed, I'm going to mark them all as unknown. The literary mo movement, I'm also going to mark as unknown. The NPM, I'm going to mark that as unknown. The number of pages, no clue. I've 
no clue would I have. <laughs> and I'll leave these two here, the personalized, the signed and the vintage. I'll leave them as is. So then what I'm going to do is click save and close. But basically, whatever category that you've got, it's going to come up here and show you what the item specifics are for each category. So whether or not you do books or clothes or DVDs or whatever you do, you can change any of the listings in yours to bulk editing. But just make sure that you know that once you change these as a bulk edit, you can't go back. <laughs> so really think carefully about the ones that you're going to bulk edit because you really need to make sure you get that right. Save and close. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push submit changes. Now it's saying nine of my listings have errors and can't be submitted, but the other 1991 of them are going to be submitted. So I'm going to push confirm and submit. Okay, so it's saying some of the listings have errors and they weren't submitted. That's fine. 1991 of the 2000 listings were submitted successfully. I'm just going to click OK. I can always go back and fix the extra ones at another time. OK. And then I can go straight back down here and I can go on to edit the 2000 to the 3300 mark. So I can just continue on with however many listings until I'm finished. So I hope that's helped you understand how to do it a little bit more in bulk. Just remember anything that you bulk change is going to override everything else. So do be careful before you change anything in bulk and make sure it's exactly what you want. Good luck everyone with your item specifics.